Hey, -o. I uh, recently got a comment on an Untone video asking how to make the land server. I figured it'd be a lot easier just to make a quick video about how to do that. So, basically, you're going to want to find Untone in your Steam library. I click on it, hit properties, and then you want to go to. Uh, get this up here. Um, local files and browse local files. Hit that. And it'll open this folder here. To Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Unturned. If you want to do it straight that way, whatever drive you have Steam stored on. And this is basically what you get. You want to find the game file. So if I hit this, it would launch the game. Don't want to do that. Uh, what you want to do is you want to create a shortcut from that game and then go to properties on that. Now, um, make sure there's a space at the end of unturned.exe. So right here, make sure there's a space. If it don't, it'll be a freaking issue. Trust me, it's a lot easier to make sure there's a space. Alright, so now you're going to want this right here. Don't worry about this tutorial part, I'll explain that in a moment. This basically creates a server. I'm not sure how, I just know it does it. Don't ask me any technical questions of why it does it, I just know it does. So, <laughs> that's the important thing. So, I will put this in the description so you can just copy it right from there and paste it in. Now, tutorial here, where it says tutorial, that is going to be the name of the server. When you go into the server folder here, that'll be what the name is. Now, I just have this one named my land server, and that's me and the fat dudes thing. But, for this demonstration, I just named it tutorial for now. You can name it whatever you please. It does not matter. So, I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to save that for the moment. And we're going to paste that right there. So, unturned.exe space, no graphics, batch mode, land server, blah, 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 whatever. Now apply that, and hit OK. So now if you were to right click on this, you would get this little box and it would start loading the server. Right now you could technically just go in and uh, when you hit direct connect, I'll show you. I'll hit. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so let's go ahead and just stop that. And then if you go into servers, you'll see tutorial has appeared. You got the server with the commands, the config. This just shows all the different configs you can do. Now one thing I got confused about is this. Each difficulty has its own. Uh, commands. So if you're playing on easy, you want that one. Playing on normal, you gotta use these. And same with hard. And I can't remember if gold's in here. Is gold in here? Uh, no, don't look like it. Okay. So make sure you're changing the configs for the difficulty you are on. That messed me up time after time again. But then basically you're going to want to go in here and open the command file and this is where you basically put the settings for it I go into mine and the server the commands see this is what we currently have set for the LAN server that we use this password it don't really matter the port what map the name of it the mode but Perspective and whether you want to kill people or not it just basically that's what you want the main thing you need to know is the map if you don't have this map in here then you're going to have problems then you're always going to start on the default PI map so if you want to play on a different one you need to set this to whatever it is and it has to be exact so if you want it Yukon it has to be spelled that way so, we, this is actually the name that will show up in the regular thing when you go to launch it. So, 
if you wanted to say some different like bears den yeah that's what you wanted to say if that's what you want everybody else to see that's joining in your thing you want map we can go ahead and put in pi even though it's gonna launch that one anyway and i did that completely backward p e i thank you and it is case sensitive if you put it in long then it's gonna end up long and just port whatever i just put 2256 just for the hell of it oh wait no i didn't uh 255.65 that's the basic minecraft port that's what i'm used to working with then you don't have to set a password you need to set the difficulty so you want hard then you put well hard uh, you don't need a capital sorry yeah hard normal easy whatever then whether you want this perspective and pve or pvp well if you want pvp on you don't have to worry about putting in anything but if you don't want to be able to kill each other then you need to put pve in or else you're going to have issues so i like to have both perspectives so that's the way i do that and this here needs a space there we go so we can just save that all right so basically right now it's done that's what it needs to be to be able to work so if I show you watching the actual game see uh, load the server you can add some other screen again I had two screens I'm using my secondary right now so everything generally spawns on this one then give me a one second here and I'm gonna switch this over to my other monitor with the untoned it's gonna go black for a second and I'll show you how to actually load the regular game or how to join the server hopefully this ain't gonna give me the same issue it normally does but if it don't immediately show then I will fix that in just a second for some reason whenever I try to load untoned I have to go into the settings and uh, turn on the or not turn on just pick the display and poof there it is once I hit my display I don't know why it does that it's just weird alright so then you want to go to connect and, and now this is the one thing this don't have a password to it but the IP if it is on your computer if you're the one with it if you got this right here can you guys see that on that screen no you cannot that sucks okay um that's an issue whatever okay and that's just weird this don't work like this it does not all done Give me one second. There. If you got this right here, then what you want to do is put it in as the local host. You don't have to worry about IP. But for anybody else, you need to uh, know your IPv4. You can find that out by just going to your command prompt. If you're on Windows 8, like I am, just right click on the uh, window thing and you'll get this thing you find command pop admin click on that put in IP config all one word and look for IPv4 and that's what you give the other people to put in here instead of local host and then they can join whatever your port is and then all you gotta do is hit connect if it works that is so you see the name is Pearsden all that and shows all the command things I put in and then you can just hit join once it loads do, 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 do. load and see here we are on the server so you can have fun enjoy kill the zombies and stuff just to prove that I am on the server let's do this little number once more you can see blah 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 character name me joined 
So there you go. That's all you need. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. I will help you in any way I can. And I hope this helps. And I wish you great luck and journey on your undead killing quests. Have a nice day. Later.